What's up guys? Coming at you au natural, you know. Um, okay, so a couple videos ago, I sort of did like an intro video to drag makeup. I was trying out the whole covering eyebrows technique and whatnot. And I said at the end of the video, if you want to see like the full drag transformation, you know, let me know. So one of my lovely viewers suggested that I, you know, go forth with the whole transformation. So that's what we're going to do today. I don't know how I'm going to do this today because like y'all already saw the foundation portion. So like, I don't think I want to include it in this video, but I am doing it differently. So like, maybe I should. Real quick, actually, I just want to touch on this. I'm, I'm flattered truly but I just want to like you know set the record straight a lot of couple people actually ask me like girl when did you get your brows microbladed pretty sure my brows look natural but I mean excuse my face demons okay but yeah if you want some confirmation like these are my eyebrows there's nothing see look at my natural oh natural I don't know why they're so thick these days, but I'm happy about it. I'm not complaining. All right, so I'm thinking I'm gonna do this like, I'm just gonna, you know, do it, speed it up, and then you guys can just watch it, listen to the music, or listen to your own music while it's on mute. I might wanna give you little updates here and there, and my thoughts along the way. That might happen if I have anything to say, but I'm gonna be watching Baby Driver, which is my new favorite movie right now. I love a good heist slash like car chase movie situation vibe, so like, this is a good movie. Love movies like that. Like, I love the movie Speed with Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock where the bus won't stop and she's gotta like, you know, figure the situation out while there's like a bomb. I hope I didn't spoil that, but it's a really old movie. Kind of a similar vibe, but not really. I don't know, like, watch Baby Driver if you haven't. Like, I love that movie. I thought I might like it when I saw the trailer for it, but not enough to go see it in theaters. So, you know, now I have access to it. That's what I'm gonna be watching. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing drag makeup. You'd think I'd be watching like RuPaul's Drag Race, but I literally watched all the seasons over again. People were spending time with their families for the holidays. I was watching RuPaul's Drag Race marathons. <laughs> Yo, if that's your ideal way to spend the holidays, also you should comment hashtag relatable because not everybody's got immediate family that they wanna go see or can go see. Not everybody cares about the holidays like that. Love you, Jesus. I feel like I'm rambling now, so I'm just gonna get into it. And yeah, stay tuned for the transformation. Or you could just, you know, fast forward. But like, where's the fun in that, guys? Learn something. I say that like I could teach you something about drag makeup. Lord Jesus. Last time I did this, oh, that's why. Okay, I swear I talk too damn much. The reason I'm redoing this is not only because I want to update some of the techniques I used, but more so because the end result of the last video it was kind of a disaster, so I figured like I would just, you know, start from scratch. So yeah, if, you're, if you wanna watch the transformation process go down, keep watching. Guess who back in the house? Heels click clack in a bound. Fine fresh feminine style to eleven. I'm divine, so heavenly gentlemen sweat. Let's dance across the board, no doubt. Body like wow. Alone. And I'm ready, shake the jelly when the juice is on. The kind of thing that all the fellas make it dance is on. I'm only getting out of bed for 20 million. Now get your camera phone, cause in a minute I'm about to be on. Chickens are fucking they pulled Running my businesses all coming through Where I 
step in, you know well what it do uh, Y'all know well what it do None of these bitches is fucking with me None of my businesses don't need a witness When I step in, they know well what it do When I step in, they know well what it do Yeah, bitch, she done already done had her She been done had hers Here's the finished product without a wig. I like it, Sasha Velour vibes. I wanna do a look more inspired by her. If you guys are down for that, this takes a long time, so like, it's paramount that you guys let me know that you wanna see another one before I actually make one. So just, you know, leave a little comment. And I'll do it if just one person comments, like that's totally cool. That's what spawned this video. Um, but yeah, so finished product with the bald head, but we're gonna put on a couple wigs and choose the best one and then do a lip sync. So stay tuned for that. I want that trophy. I want that trophy. Hello everyone, this is my drag transformation. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know what this <laughs> voice is. All right, you guys, so this actually turned out so much better than I thought it would, like so much better. Um, I didn't glue my wig down, so if you see any flaps flying in the next little um, clip situation, then you know what, don't judge me, okay? I could have glued it down, but I'm about to wash all this off in a second, so it don't matter. The eyebrows, the eyebrows got me there. It's really hard to draw on like a whole different set of eyebrows and proportion to, it's, it's, it's tricky business. So kudos to the drag queens out there and the girls who can do drag like Lucy Garland. You inspired me. I doubt you'll ever watch this video, but in case you do, you're the reason that I decided to exercise my love of drag on myself because, you know, we all love drag race. It's not super common for girls to be doing drag. Um, these days it's becoming more and more common. I'm such a fabulous female on my own. Like, it's just nice to be a different one, you know, once in a while. So I would totally perform. If someone would hire me, like, shit, yeah, you only gotta know I'm a girl. But yeah, there's definitely so much room for improvement. Um, I could like this eyebrow was giving me so much trouble. Um, forgive if there are any missing clips because this camera was overheating and stopping on me. And like sometimes I would just be so focused that like I'll be like, okay, let me just let me put it on after I finish this eye, and then I'd go on to the next thing. And you know, I'm sorry if there's a whole chunk missing, but I feel like I got the most important parts captured on camera. It was more so just the blending of the eyeshadow and applying the eyeliner. I think that um, might have been left out, but. Yo, check out my eyeliner. Excuse this eye. It looks probably a little bit watery because I had a blow dryer in my face. You'll see. You'll see. It looks hella crazy for the longest time, but you know, once everything is on and like completed, it really turned out great, I think. So I would hit a gay club like this, no problem. I think I look really cool. Um, oh, these earrings you're probably gonna ask, they are from a store which shall not be named because we're boycotting. Well, you know what, I guess I have to name it so that you guys can know what I'm talking about. H&M, I don't wanna get into it right now, but check out my last post on my Instagram. Check out my last Instagram post with the little boy and read what's going on. I don't write that H&M. I'm just too much of a fashionista and a cheap ass to throw out all my H&M stuff. So y'all dodge the bullet there. You get a little bit more free promotion. But after this, but I'm certainly not going to be shopping there again. I just, 
negligent. They're negligent, they're irresponsible, and I feel like they're a little bit shady too. So that's my two cents. I'm not gonna get into it. Pretty good for a second attempt. The foundation was acting a little bit crazy. Um, I don't know like what I did wrong, but like for some reason, my setting powder was just acting all kinds of crazy. I think my blending sponge was too wet. I realized that a little bit too late and I was getting some crazy creasing in this region. So I'm like, let me overdraw that a little bit. So yeah, I like the way it looks like initially, like right now. Um, I'm probably just really proud of all the hard work though. So let me just pull that up. <laughs> I hate when you can see this stupid softbox. It's so annoying. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, what was I saying? Whatever. I saved this look. I'm really happy about it. It turned out so much better than the first one. She used to be a circus clown, but had bigger dreams. So she took matters into her own hands. <laughs> That's the story, and I'm sticking to it. Um, yeah, this was real fun. Check out my lip sync. I had to. I had to. Like, as a fan of Drag Race, how could I do drag and not do a lip sync? Okay, so check that out. Um, and it's not a whole, like, song. Just a little bit. A little taste, you know, for next time, maybe, if we want to keep doing this. But, yeah, it's been real. I love you guys. Um, yeah, stay warm. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Holla! Yeah, without further ado, this is Telepathy by Christina Aguilera. Hold me tight, you hold me